హలో అండి మీ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ అగ్ది ఎడింగ్ ఐ మీ మై నిషా కరెంట్లీ పర్సూ ఎంఎస్సి ఇన్ సాయిస్ ఇన్స్ అండ్ అగ్రదర్శి కెమిస్ట్రీ అట్ ఐసీఆర్ ఐఆర్ ఇన్ యూరి టుడే ఐమ్ ఇయర్ టు డిస్కస్ విత్ యూ రిగార్డింగ్ ద టాపిక్ దట్ ఈస్ సాయిల్ ఫార్మింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ ఇన్ లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ వి డిస్ ఆల్రెడీ డిస్కస్ వేరియస్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ సాయిల్ దీస్ ఆల్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ యూ టుగెదర్ కంట్రిబ్యూట్ టు ఎ పర్టికులర్ ప్రాసెస్ రిజల్టింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ సాయిల్ సో లెట్ ఎస్ గో త్రూ basically uh, at first simmons in the year 1959 this scientist name is very important simmons in the year 1959 gave four basic soil forming processes those are gains or additions losses transformations and transformation what happens uh, in addition what will be added into soil mostly precipitation that is water as rainfall or irrigation and also some solid particles and organic matter that is organic mineral matter will be added into soil and next one is losses in addition it is positive we can deny if we can deny it can be positive way losses mean that which is going out from the soil that is negative for us whichever are the materials entering into the soil those will be lost like ions that is bases or null while leaching or silicate ions etc next one is transformation transformation is one form of a substance will be transformed into other form in last class we saw vegetation which is impacting humification process that means organic matter is transformed into humus likewise minerals will also be undergo transformations next one is translocations translocation is nothing but the movement of materials from one point to another within the soil this is important translocation occurs within the soil in between the different horizons if we can say it will be usually divided into movement of solution that is what along with the water trans uh, materials may move that is referred to as leaching movement is suspension we all know pretty well about the solution and suspension so we no need to discuss it so if it is moving in solution form it is referred to as leaching if it is moving in suspension form it will be referred to as elevation for discussing in depth regarding the solution and suspension forms uh please as uh, subscribe to our line sessions there we can discuss it in very clear form these are four basic soil forming process so the next one is fundamental soil forming process there are basically three fundamental soil forming process humification elevation and elevation humification as we saw earlier it is nothing but transformation of organic matter into humus this is nothing but humification next is elevation and innovation from the name itself you can elevate me to move or something to reach down outside elevate means to turning inside so what happens is in innovation water percolates down the soil column transport the organic material and soluble in organic matter along with the water so the water along with this material will get move up percolated from upper horizons to lower horizons this process is called innovation what happens in innovation is material transported from upper soil horizons that means which are innovated earlier will get deposited in the lower horizons this is nothing but innovation usually if we say in terms of horizon uh, in e horizon elevation will occur that means uh, substances will be reached out and in b horizon deposition will occur that means substances will get deposited in the b horizon these are fundamental soil forming processes so till now we saw basic basic soil forming process and the fundamental soil forming process now we will see specific soil forming processes specific soil forming processes mean they rely on some factors which are very essential for the process to occur so uh, first one is calcification calcification is nothing but accumulation of carbonates that means it is the process of precipitation and then accumulation of calcium carbonates in some part of the profile where does it accumulate usually in the b horizon if it accumulates in we can call it bk horizon so the accumulation of calcium carbonate will result in the formation of calcic horizon so the due to this uh, calcic horizon formation the term calcification is given calcification half of the word comes from name of horizon 
this is nothing but calcification so if we say in terms of chemical point of view calcification when does it occur when there is high temperature and low co2 this is all uh, depend on the chatelier principle which we studied in our plus 2 also for detailed explanation uh, please log into our uh, co- live co- live sessions there we will discuss it in depth regarding which factors are influencing this calcification more particularly in terms of the chatelier principle next one is decalcification decalcification means reverse of cla- calcification that means if in this process removal of calcium carbonate or calcium ion occurs on the soil reverse which here it is accumulating here it will be removed and the factors will be opposite on please remember while studying these factors affecting particular process don't try to by heart those factors because statements may come very twisted like uh, which factors are influence in which process the phenomena we have to understand very in depthly so try to find out the reason if you can't find out uh, please uh, log in to our live sessions there we will discuss it with in very depth next one is a very important process that is podgeization what is podgeization it is the process resulting in the formation of podgeols or podgeolic soil these are nothing but a group of soils in many aspects podgeization is also referred to as negative of calcification this is important right podgeization is negative of calcification because in calcification what happens we uh, means uh, calcium will then will be tend to accumulate in the profile but in podgeization calcium will get removed so it can be termed as negative of calcification but there are some factors which are uh, uh, convening this process to occur those are cold and humid climate siliceous parent material that means sandy material next acid producing vegetation like conifers next is leaching and translocation of sesquio oxides what happens here in podgeization if we see the soil profile upper is over region a e b and then parent material bedrock will be there in podgeization here climate is humid so high rainfall will be there what happens when there is high rainfall bases and all gets leached down the profile bases will get leached down the profile but here uh, the parent material is acidic uh, sandy means acidic parent material is acidic and bases are getting leached down so the resultant ph of these upper horizon will be acidic under acidic conditions what happens this organic matter will not get polymerized that much so this unpolymerized organic matter will get combined with the sesquio oxides present and this complexes also start moving down the profile so what is remaining here it is nothing but silica silica is only remaining in the upper upper horizons of the profile so due to the translocation of this organic matter in sesquio oxide down the profile and also leaching of all the bases on the profile there is an accumulation of only silica in the upper upper parts of the profile this is nothing but podgeization so why silica is accumulating in acidic ph and all we already know because silica is insoluble at acidic ph so it is not getting leached down next is laterization Laterization. We saw podgele in podgelation. What is happening? Sesquio oxides will get moved out, but silica is remaining in the profile. So it is silica rich horizons are remaining in the podgelation. In laterization, it removes silica instead of sesquio oxide, so leaving sesquio oxide to concentrate in the soil. So in laterization, silica is getting moved out, but sesquio oxide is remaining in the profile. So sesquio oxides are mostly iron and aluminum oxides iron minerals are like hematite and all are reddish in color so laterization process is it leaves the soil red in color those are laterite if at this also warm and humid climate is required tropical rainforests are very favorable and then basic parent materials are also favor convenient for this development of laterization process the process is simple we will see oaebc horizons 
same like uh, we saw earlier for porgeration in laterization also what substances are leaching down what are remaining in the solemn we need to focus and how they are getting leached out is also important so try to find out reader if you can't find out we are there for you to clear your doubts feel free to ask the next one is gleeization gleeization means this glees is a word that comes from russian term it is nothing but gleeization is nothing but uh, the process which is occurring in poor drain conditions in poor drain conditions what will happen these oxide forms will be turned into ions like ferric form will be transformed into ions likewise manganese manganese to manganese ion likewise reduced forms will be remaining in the soil but when if the soil gets dry it will also be turned into oxide forms very resistant toxin which are very uh, reluctant to get reduced so it will show rusty brown mottings that is grayish or bluish mottings will be formed so this horizon representation is very important the accumulation of glaic material in the b horizon resulting in bg horizon in the glaciation process next one is selenization the name itself we can tell selenization is accumulation of salinity when salinity will be there due to accumulation of salts such as sulfates and chlorides of calcium magnesium sodium and potassium in the selenic horizon uh, in which a uh, means uh, it is common in arid and semi arid regions why in arid and semi arid regions there is no sufficient rainfall so the salts will not get leached down the profile they will tend to concentrate more in the root zone area itself and also due to less uh, evaporation and transport transpiration there is a capillary rise of the from the ground water table along with the salts it also increases the salt content in the root zone region so it may also take place to capillary the saline ground water in the inundation and also due to inundation with sea water in marine coastal areas soils like the areas which are very near to sea shores and all the salt sprays will also be a factor responsible for this salinization process and the salt accumulation may also result from irrigation or seepage in areas of embedded drainage in irrigation salty irrigation water if we give this also results in the process of salinization nothing but the enrichment of soil with salts which hampers the plant growth this is nothing but salinization next one is desalinization till now uh, reverse process what do we saw calcification decalcification next is salinization and desalinization desalinization is leaching of excess soluble salts that is removal of salts that are accumulated from the so horizons of soil profile so among these two desalinization is a negative process for the, for the salinization and uh, how we will uh, leach out excess salts usually by ponding water and improving the drainage condition by installing artificial drainage networks drainage is very important in case of reclamation of saline soils so in desalinization artificial drainage and ponding of water plays an important role next one is salinization or alkalization we saw salinization salinization means accumulation of salts but what do you mean by alkalization in sal alkalization or salinization what happens is particularly the sodium ions will get accumulated on the exchange complex clades in complexes only sodium ions are getting accumulated on exchange complexes we know uh, like in diffusion double a theory and colloids topics uh, we know that this sodium ion will cause the soil dispersive due to increasing thickness or diffusion double layer also so that principle if we apply it here this accumulation of sodium ion will create poor uh, soil structure and they, it thereby results in the poor drainage conditions and also so on which hampers the plant growth in many ways why the sodium ion is accumulating why not other ions these phenomena you should try to understand and uh, then apply it here like how we applied this diffusive double layer theory here 
So try to find out the reasons why it is accumulating here. And this columnar structure, it is the characteristic feature of this alkali soils. The name is very important. Alkalization is also referred to as solanization. Next is solidization or dealkalization. Same. Calcification, decalcification, solanization, desolanization, solidization. Uh, solanization means alkalization and dealkalization. It is reverse of alkalization that is removal of sodium. When the sodium will get removed, when we replace it with some other ions, usually calcium or magnesium. Same, how we are reclaiming alkali soils by adding the gypsum. This is also same. This single wall changes the whole process. Please take care of the solanization and solidization. Last one is pedoturbation. Pedoturbation is nothing but process of mixing of soil. It is of different types like faunal, floral and agilic pedoturbation. In faunal pedoturbation, what happens? Uh, the soil will get mixed up with the aid of animals. In floral, it will be mixed up with the aid of plants. Agilic pedoturbation is very important and it is a characteristic feature of vertisols. In vertisols, due to swelling and shrinking nature of soil, while drying and also wetting process, this swelling and shrinking nature will get exhibited by these vertisols. This results in self mulching of soils or self churning process, which is referred to as argillic pedoturbation. Argillic means clay, which involves clay. Here it is metate clay. So the process comes from the name argillic pedoturbation. So these are all the soil forming processes which are very important to understand and also to apply in different pedological point of view. Later, if we see soil orders and origin, these process will all will be very important and impacting a lot. So try to understand the phenomena behind each process and don't try to mug up the things, try to understand the phenomena associated with it. And if you have any doubts, feel free to contact us with a given number or unsubscribe to our YouTube channel. Please share it among the uh, your friends who are preparing for physical sciences examination. If you like our content uh, uh, about this topic, and if you want to know in depth uh, about this topic along with the reasons and every process associated with it, uh, please take our live courses. There we can discuss it with uh, without a time constraint if possible. So thank you all. Thank you so much. Best of luck.